Hello everybody, my name is Phil and welcome to Miranda Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. As you can tell, it's chilly out this morning. It is about 37 degrees, but the sun is out, so we're going to continue our day detailing vehicles. So we have this one planned out for today. We're doing a full detail on it, but I'm gonna show you how we detail the carpets specifically, maybe a little bit of the leather too, uh, but definitely the carpets because it's a light colored um, fabric on the carpets and the mats, and good example uh, to show you how we clean those carpets up and also to show you um, how they clean up as well, because sometimes some stains won't come up, but we'll see how these uh, come out. So let's take a look at the vehicle. So guys, we're gonna focus on the carpets today, maybe a little bit of the leather. We're not gonna show you everything that goes on in the interior, but we're gonna focus on the carpets because it's a good example of cleaning light colored fabric. Um, dark colored fabric can be pretty easy, but these mats should clean up really nice, so we will show you our process for cleaning carpets. So the leather is kind of grungy too. And that's it, we're done.
All right, guys, so that is it. The Lexus is complete. So the interior is really what we focused on. So you notice the carpets and the leather um, and the plastic components in the inside were pretty grungy and it was that nice light color, uh, kind of like that light tan. And perfect example of how we can clean the carpets and the leather. So you notice that we use those little magic erasers. Now those aren't the original magic erasers. Those are just ones that we actually purchased on Amazon. I'll, I'll have links down below to those. They're kind of just generic cleaning sponges and uh, they work really well. They, they work just the same and we use them for the plastics. We use them for the leather now and they're just easier to use. Um, and I think they actually are more effective than using a brush. In fact, they absorb all the uh, the junk as well. So the brush will agitate the the dirt and, and grime off the leather and usually kind of leave it there. But the magic sponges will actually kind of absorb it a little bit. So it cleans very effectively because it is mildly abrasive um, and, uh, you know, collects all the dirt within itself. So you can see the sponge after it's done, how dirty and grungy it is. So I love those things and my wife loves them. I don't know why we didn't use them earlier. So I, I've had a, I've had them here for a long time, probably a good year until I just started to use them. Um, and I've seen many other guys use them and it just never dawned on me to, to use them for interior plastics and leather. So there you go. They work great for cleaning those up. And as you can see with the interior carpets and mats, um, with, when it comes to the mats themselves, I do use the extractor because they're the grungiest. That's where the bulk of the, of the grime and dirt and junk uh, will get onto those mats and they need real deep cleaning. So I scrub them and I use the super clean. As you noticed, I have the 3D carpet extractor uh, shampoo. It's actually carpet and upholstery shampoo, basically the same thing, um, but it wasn't strong enough. It, it cleans well. It could clean the carpet in the car. As you saw, I didn't actually need to extract anything. Everything basically mopped up uh, using the microfiber towel. So that's called the damp towel method to clean the interior of the carpets. And really, you don't need to go any further. I've, I've experimented where I've hit it with the extractor, didn't look any different. So it's just an easier, quicker way to do the interior carpets uh, without having to pull out the extractor or even the steamer. You can actually clean carpets like that very simply without having to pull out all the equipment. Um, and yes, you can use the little tornador and that does help in some grungier areas to kind of blow the dirt out and then you vacuum everything up after. Um, but the mats really came out awesome as you uh, noticed. So that's it when it comes to cleaning carpets and the leather and plastic. If you guys have any questions, definitely put them down below. I'll try my best to answer those uh, as soon as I can. And if you haven't already subscribed, click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the tools and products, then click up here to our dedicated webpage where we have a ton of different products and tools, and you can purchase those easily by just clicking on the picture, and it leads you right to Amazon. And if you're interested in any of the apparel, we have t-shirts, hoodies, and more, then again, click up here. That goes to the dedicated online store. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.